Hello friends, welcome to Maths. How are you all? Hope you all are good. So let's start our today's class. Today our topic is word problems or you may say it story problems or statement sum also. Okay, so let's see what are we going to learn today. At first what are story problems and then how to solve a story problem. Okay. So, let's start our today's class with a new story. So, at first, what are word problems or story problems? When questions of mathematics are presented in the form of a story, we call them word problems. And inside the story, there are numbers which we need to use to solve the problem. Okay. Now, let's see what is our question and let's read it. Here is the question. So, let's read it carefully. In a party, Iron Man bought 235 ice creams and Captain America bought 154 ice creams. But before the party, Hulk came and ate all the ice creams. How many ice creams did Hulk eat? Now, here is Iron Man and we bought 235 ice creams. And here is Captain America and he bought 154 ice creams. And uh, but before the party, they when they went out, the hungry hall came and he ate all the ice creams. So, what will you find out? That how many ice creams did Hulk eat? Okay, so let's see what is the step. The step number one. The step number one is write the places for the numbers. And uh, here we see that uh, how many digit numbers are here? Yes, the three digit numbers here. So, there are three digit numbers. So, that's why we write the places here. O for ones, T for tens and H for hundreds. Because there are three digit numbers here. So, now the step number 2. The step number 2 is now write the statements with the numbers. But how to write the statements? Easy way to write statement is go to the numbers and frame sentences from the question. So, let's take the first number that is 235. But what is 235? Yes, the number of ice creams Captain uh, Iron Man bought. So, what will be the statement? The number of ice creams Iron Man bought. And now we will write the numbers and we start from the ones place. After that, the next number that is 154. But what is 154? Yes, the number of ice creams that Captain America bought. So, what will be the statement? Number of ice creams Captain America bought. And now we will write the numbers and it starts from the ones place. And we always write the numbers from the ones place that we learned in our last lecture in the addition class. Okay, now let's uh, go to the step number three. Oh, before uh, going to the step number three, there is an announcement for all the parents that visit our uh, website and register for our free course that is brain test for regular practice of your children. Now let's see the step number three the solution part and uh, what will you find out here that how many ice creams did Hulk eat. So what will be the statement now? Yes number of ice creams Hulk ate but how will we find out? And we, as we read in the question that Hulk ate all the ice creams. All the ice creams mean that the ice cream which Iron Man bought and the ice cream which Captain America bought. And we have to put together all the ice creams. And put together means we have to add the numbers. Yes. So, we have to add 235 with 154. So, let's add and we start from the ones place. 
So let's add 5, uh, 5 plus 4 and we get 9. After that we add 3 plus 5 and we get 8. And after that we add the digits of the hundreds place that is 2 plus 1 and we get 3. So Hulk ate 389 ice creams. So now the step number 4. The step number 4 is the answer. So what will be the answer? Yes, that Hulk ate 389 ice creams. Okay. Before the end of our today's class, let's see once again what did we learn today. We learned today what are word problems and how to write statements in word problems. And remember the statements we write from the questions only. Okay. Now uh, steps of solving a word problem and after solving the word problem we find out how many ice creams did Hulk eat. Yes. And uh, so do practice regularly and for practice you can visit our website. And take brain test. Okay. So that's all for the day. Bye-bye.